Welcome. The purpose of this tutorial you're about to see is to introduce you to MakerDAO. First, you'll learn how to borrow some DAI stablecoins. Then I'll show you how to exchange DAI for ETH and how to use this ETH to lower the default risk of your loan. We'll focus more on the technical aspects of the MakerDAO system. You have to remember though, that everything shown here has financial impact, which will only be covered briefly and can introduce financial risk. Let's get started. Main interface to MakerDAO application called CDP portal is located at cdp.makerdao.com. At the beginning, you'll have to choose a method of connecting your Ethereum account to the CDP portal. You have a choice of using MetaMask browser extension, Ledger Nano S hardware wallet, or Tezzer hardware wallet. In this presentation, I'll be using MetaMask. So even if you own a hardware wallet, you may want to connect it to CDP portal using MetaMask. If you do so, the whole screencast will be easier to follow. You can add your hardware wallet to MetaMask by choosing the option Connect Hardware Wallet from the MetaMask menu. If it's the first time you're connecting to CDP Portal, MetaMask may ask you for confirmation. The interface of CDP Portal is divided into several panels. At the top right, you can see some information on ETH, DAI, and MKR in your possession. I hope you have some broad understanding of how MakerDAO works and what each role of these tokens is within the MakerDAO system. Just to refresh though, ETH is used as loan collateral. Currently, I have one ETH in my wallet. DAI is the stablecoin whose value is pegged to one US dollar. You'll borrow some DAI from the CDP portal. Finally, MKR, the token which is used, among other things, to pay interest and borrow DAI. Below, you can see the prices of ETH, PETH to ETH ratio, PETH is outside the scope of this tutorial. The target price of DAI, which as I mentioned above, is one US dollar. And finally, the price of the MKR token. These prices, except for the DAI price, are median market rates sourced by from other crypto exchanges. At the bottom, you can see some statistics about the MakerDAO system, collateralization ratio, which amounts to 324.5% means that all ETH deposited in the MakerDAO converted to US dollars using a rate displayed above is equal to 324% of all DAI being lent in the system, which in turn amounts to 888.4 million USD. One can easily calculate that the ETH in the system is worth more than $288 million USD. See all CDP links connects you to makermkr.tools, a website which is a very detailed and comprehensive source of information. Numbers and charts about the current and the past status of MakerDAO ecosystem. I encourage you to have a look. Open CDP button is visible in the middle of the main panel. CDP is the, is the abbreviation of collateralized debt position. For our purposes, you can think of it as your individual account in the MakerDAO system. You can have more than one CDP, but only one CDP can be bound to one Ethereum account. After pressing CDP button, simple form with two input fields is displayed. In the first field, you'll supply the amount of ETH to be deposited into the system. Current interest rate, called stability fee, is displayed below. You have one ETH on my account. Since it's important to leave some ETH for gas used to pay for transaction fees, you'll want to deposit just 0.95 ETH to the MakerDAO. Under how much DAI would you like to generate? The maximum amount of DAI can be borrowed is shown. It's 86.3 DAI. The number of was calculated using minimum collateralization ratio, which is currently set to 150%. Minimum collateralization ratio means the dollar value of 0.95 ETH cannot be lower than 150% of DAI being lent. Inverting the equation, you can only borrow equivalent of two thirds of the deposit ETH dollar value. Since one DAI is always worth one USD, in dollar terms, the amount you borrow is constant. On the other hand, dollar value in ETH which is the collateral, is volatile. 
You can borrow the maximum amount of dye displayed here, and some time later, ETH USD rates will fall. The dollar value of your collateral will no longer amount to 150% or more than the loan. So to be safe, let's borrow just 10 DAI. Take a look at other numbers. Liquidation price was calculated. If ETH over USD ratio drops below it, your CDP will be liquidated. Liquidation comes at the price of 13% of the CDP value being lost. So it's in your best interest to avoid it. Collateralization ratio of your 10 die loan is 1300%. This means at this moment, your collateral is worth 1300% of your loan, which is much more than the lowest required value of 150%. On the following screen, you'll have to accept MakerDAO terms of service. Those terms of service are a bit different than the ones you may have seen before. Since MakerDAO is a decentralized system built on a blockchain, there is no central entity that can, for example, undo your actions to do a chargeback. The whole CDP opening process consists of seven steps, which will be executed one in one transaction for your convenience. You can take a peek at those steps using this link. The transaction is being displayed to be confirmed in MetaMask. You can notice the transaction fee, two US dollars, is pretty high. This is due to the fact that on the day the screenshot was taken, the Ethereum network was pretty congested and gas prices skyrocketed. The seven steps which make up the transaction also make it more expensive than the typical Ethereum transaction. Let's confirm. The transaction is being confirmed by Ethereum miners. The whole process can take some time, depending on the current network load. You can see the estimated confirmation time by clicking View Transaction Link, which opens the transaction in an external block explorer. The transaction went through. Now you're the proud owner of CDP number 15167. What's more, there's 10 die waiting for you in your wallet. You can see a lot of information on this screen. These include the information you're familiar with, like the liquidation price, the collateralization rate, but also some new buttons, which we'll cover in a while. Before that, open MetaMask again. Freshly received die are not visible in MetaMask. Let's fix that. Click Add Token Link. Enter die in the search box, then select die token. Add it to MetaMask. And here it is visible on the MetaMask screen. You can now go back to the CDP portal. There are four new buttons visible after opening a CDP. Deposit allows you to add some more Ether as collateral. After doing that, the liquidation price will go down and the collateralization ratio will go up. Withdraw button does the reverse of that. It lets you withdraw some of the ETH in your CDP. You can't withdraw all of the ETH though. Some must stay deposited to act as collateral for the borrowed 10 die. The maximum amount you can withdraw is displayed. However, withdrawing the whole amount will cause the collateralization rate to drop to 150% and bring your CDP to the brink of liquidation. Two other buttons are used to pay borrowed die back and to generate, aka borrow, additional die. We can borrow 76.3 die max. But again, it will cause your CDP to sit on the edge of liquidation. Since at the moment the collateralization ratio of your CDP is very high, you can safely borrow more DAI by clicking Generate. Increase your DAI loan by 40 DAI. Immediately projected liquidation price and collateralization rates values are displayed. As you can see, adding 40 DAI to your loan will cause a substantial raise of the former to just below 79 USD and a significant drop to the latter. In early 2019, ETH price dropped to just $80. That kind of drop would make your CDP vulnerable. But on the day I recorded this, the ETH price was almost twice as high. So taking into account that this is just a short-term loan, you can take the risk and borrow 40 die. Additionally, there's something you can do to decrease your liquidation price. You'll learn that trick soon. 
This time, the transaction fee is lower. Confirm the transaction in MetaMask. Your transaction has been mined. You can see an updated CDP portal and 50 DAI in your account. There's no requirement that your DAI stay there. You can do whatever you please with it. Buy something, repay other loans with higher interest rates, give it to some charity, or even lose it. Just remember that eventually, you'll have to pay the whole amount plus interest back. It would be quite easy if the ETH price goes up. If you're convinced that it will do just that, why not buy some more ETH with your DAI, only to sell it back later for a profit? Imagine if ETH reaches 500 USD. All it takes to repay your loan is to sell 0.1 ETH. But there's a danger. If on its way to the moon, ETH drops below your liquidation price, your CDP will not survive. But let's worry about that later. You can use DAI on many exchanges now, and the number of exchanges accepting it is growing. I'll show you ETH to DAI, which is the official exchange created by MakerDAO Foundation. It's a decentralized exchange powered by smart contracts, so all trades are made directly from your wallet. There's no need to deposit or withdraw funds. The interface is quite simple. ETH to DAI gives access to just one pair, wrapped Ether over DAI. Why wrapped ether instead of eth? Without digging too much into the technical details, wrapped eth is eth wrapped so it can be traded in the same way other eth-based tokens can. You can turn eth into wrapped eth and back again anytime. And one eth will always be equal to one wrapped eth. The tool to do this is available on eth to die exchange, and I'll show you how to do it soon. As you may notice, wrapped eth rate on the exchange is a bit higher than the rate displayed on CDP portal. One-to-one -one USD over DAI peg is not an easy target and sometimes DAI is worth slightly less or slightly more than one USD. The difference is not very substantial. You can sell or buy wrapped ether using create order panel. Let's try and purchase 0.25 wrapped ether, which will cost around 35 DAI. It appears that you have to unlock DAI access first using balance tab. Unlocking is done only once before using the exchange for the first time. Go to the balance tab and click the padlock near DAI. MetaMask pop-up appears and displays information that may be unsettling at first. You're giving consent to access some gigantic amount of DAI which is probably many orders of magnitude bigger than all USD in circulation ever. Don't worry. You still have to confirm each individual transaction, and eth to die cannot withdraw any die from your account. Confirm the transaction. While the transaction is being confirmed, please notice wrap and unwrap buttons. These buttons are used to turn eth into wraps eth and wrapped eth into regular eth. Let's unlock WETH access as well. Click the wrapped ether padlock. Confirm transaction in MetaMask. Now let's go back to the exchange. There's 0.25 wrapped ether already entered into the amount field. Let's set up a price to the lowest sell order in the order book. You can enter any price you want, but at this time, we have no time to wait until someone picks up the order. ETH to DAI exchanges does not charge you any fees besides the transaction fees, which goes to the Ethereum network miners. Click Buy Wrapped Ether and confirm the transaction. Go to the Balance tab again and use the Unwrap button. Convert the recently purchased 0.25 wrapped Ether to Ether. Confirm the transaction and go back to the CDP portal. To the CDP portal. You can see 0.284 ETH in your wallet. This doesn't make you rich, but still, it's more than you had a while ago. What can you do with the ETH you've purchased? You can wait for the price to go up and sell it, but as I mentioned before, you cannot exclude the possibility that the price will drop below your liquidation price at some moment before you'll be able to sell your ETH. This would cause painful liquidation on your CDP. However, you can do something about it by adding purchased ETH to your CDP. This will lower your CDP liquidation price and raise your collateralization ratio. So let's put 0.25 into the CDP 
Click Deposit. Enter the amount of Ether you want to add to your CDP. By adding more collateral, the liquidation price decreases from 79 to 62.5 USD. This will help you sleep better at night for sure. Confirm. Before adding more collateral, the system would have allowed you to borrow up to 36 more die. Now it's 58 die on top of the 50 die already borrowed. You can see that while MakerDAO allows you to borrow die that amounts to two thirds of the deposited ETH value, by purchasing ETH using borrowed die and adding it back to your CDP, you can get a much higher loan. This may look like some magic trick. Have you just lowered the CDP liquidation price for free? It's not quite that simple. While the liquidation price is now lower, an ETH price has more space to move down before the liquidation happens, the CDP value is now bigger. So it's gets if it gets liquidated, you'll lose more value in ETH terms. You have around 15 DAI in your wallet unused. If you don't need it now, you can return it, lowering your liquidation risk even more. Use Payback button. There's a stability pay that must be paid when repaying the loan. Interest rate is variable. Right now, it's 1.5% per year. The 15 DAI you're about to pay back was lent for just a few minutes, so the fee is very, very small. Even if on the screen you see zero with three decimal places, it's probably not exactly zero, hence the information that you don't have enough MKR tokens to pay the interest. MKR token is the default currency in which interest is paid back. You can buy MKR on quite a few exchanges, but to make it more convenient, CDP Portal allows you to pay the stability fee in DAI, then internally buys the required amount of MKR using the DAI that you provided. You have to unlock access to DAI before you can use this feature. Let's take a step back and select pad block by DAI on the right side of the screen. Confirm DAI access in MetaMask. After the transaction is mined, press Payback button again. Now select Payment in DAI and confirm. By paying back 15 DAI, you've managed to lower your liquidation price even more. Your collateralization ratio is now 470% and is now higher than the collateralization ratio of all loans in MakerDAO, which is only 325%. It's worth noticing that depositing 0.25 ETH, about $35, lowered your liquidation price by $16.5 from $79 to $62. On the other hand, reducing your loan by 15 DAI which is only 15 US dollars, lowered your liquidation price by 18.5 US dollars to less than 44 US dollars. It looks like paying back DAI reduces risk more effectively than depositing ETH at the same value. Why is that? I'll leave answering that question to you. It can be your homework. Our tour is complete now. I hope it has introduced you to both MakerDAO into the whole emerging ecosystem of decentralized, disintermediated finance. If you're hungry for more information, MakerDAO.com is the place to start. Enjoy, and keep an eye on the risk.